morning. Level three, day 12. We bring in, we bring together an alchemy of the aprocades and the five animals. Remember the aprocades are much more of our strengthening, strengthening of the musculature. There's a lot of those low stances. And then the animals are, uh, are the flexibility and the openness. So we'll do the brocades first to start to move blood around and then move into the five animals. And then the form. Here it is, everything all together. Preparing for the eight brocades. Harmonize chi, palms up and lower palms down. Preparing for the first one, lifting earth to heaven. Strong inhale when we come up, lifting up. Look up, hold the breath at the top. Then bring the head back to center and exhale, lower arms down. Strong inhale, pulling the abdomen in, really filling the chest. Hold up the sky. Head back to center, exhale, arms down. So important adjustment is to be mindful that the shoulders stay down so you're lifting the arms only and the shoulders stay broad and the neck stays long head back and exhale arms come down kick flip-flops off preparing harmonize chi in between and exhale palms down Preparing for number two, shooting the bow. So the adjustment here is to look and ask for the shoulders and hips to get perpendicular. So bring your arm across. I'm trying to get my shoulders perpendicular and then pull back and a short little exhale. That's a whole inhale. Inhale as you pull back and then a short little exhale when you let go of the arrow. Come around, you're sinking into a low horse stance. Pull back and exhale. Come around, it's gotta be a forceful exhale to completely empty out your lungs of that big inhale. Inhaling, still inhale and exhale. Last, more, last side, one more time this side, come around and Exhale, and come to stand. Arms come down. Set feet closer together. And harmonize. Chi and palms down. So into number three, separating heaven and earth. <clears throat> the adjustment is to really look and make sure that your the arms stretching away and then the head turn are two separate motions. Head turns back, arms float back through the middle. So that is a motion and then the head turn is a motion. And it's a head turn only. Shoulders stay exactly where they started. Keep a little bend in the knees, down with the tailbone. And is the inhale when we stretch the arms away. And it is an exhale when we come through the middle. And it's a relaxing, like floating the arms back to center and then inhale. Pretty significant wrist um, flex. Like pushing, holding the heaven up and pushing down away from the earth. And you see how I have my chin to my chest a little bit to stretch up the back of the neck and then turn the head. Okay, that was number three. Harmonize chi in between, lift up onto the toes and exhale, lower palms, lower heels. Preparing for number four, wise owl looks behind. Same thing, chest totally opens, then turn and look. And just turning the head. So not twisting the torso at all. Full, open, and then only a head turn. So this is starting to isolate 
the back muscles and the neck muscles. So strengthen, shoulder blades strong, legs strong, looking. Exhale, really deflate on the exhale. Strong inhale, pull that energy up your legs, strong body, and turn and look. And then exhale, relax. Isometric strengthening, pulling and pulling the muscles up against the bone. Inhaling, turn. So different from the other head turn, you're actually trying to look behind you. Harmonize chi in between. And preparing for dragon swings his tail. So feet wide apart. I'm checking out my feet. See how my feet swivel on this grass. Go down into a low squat. Now start over on to one ankle and then come through the middle. Front knee bent, back leg straight. So we're in a front stance. And shifting. Putting a lot of weight in the front leg, straighten the back leg. So the breathing here is to exhale through the middle. Start inhaling when your head comes up in line and starts to lift off your knee. Back through. And coming up. And back through. Hips are square to the to the knee, to the bent knee, front leg. So that usually requires you bringing the straight leg hip forward and the bent knee hip back. And with the chest and head, more concerned with going up than arching back. The back will happen. Roll up. Great, that was number five. Set feet together and preparing for pulling heaven to earth. Harmonize in between. Hands will come to the back first. Let's prepare, bring the hands onto the low back. Inhale, arch back. Head resting on the full chest and then down. Okay, this is important. Arms by your ears, stand as a Straight line from your hips to your fingertips. Hands to the back. Hold there for a sec and then exhale down the backs of the legs. So bend your knees as much as you need to to be able to have your body in a straight line from the hips to the fingertips. Hands to the low back. Your breathing might be a little bit um, slower than mine or faster. So the really the the goal is to be having a slight pause when the hands get to your low back, a little bit of a squeeze, and then exhale down and inhale, roll up. Okay, preparing for number six, but in between harmonized chi, lift up. And exhale down. Preparing for swinging fists, fiery eyes. Maybe it's been a while since you've punched the air with a mad face. So get ready. Bring an arm out. There's a little twist, like a you're pushing and pulling, and then boom. That's your exhale when the when the fists twist. Remember your shoulders stay where they, they stay in the same place the whole time. So don't throw your shoulder and punch it out, good. Do 30 of these. So do little exhales, exhale, 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 exhale. 
Good. And there it is. <laughs> Shake it out a little bit. Good. And then this last one is the shake out. So harmonize in between. So lift up onto your toes with these last three. This is number eight. Dropping heaven into earth. Drop it down. Very grounding. It's kind of a mood changer too. Get yourself stressed out in the day. Do this a couple times. Kind of just shake you out of it. Great. Apricades. Now into the animals first, the dragon. So compressing that side, then compressing the other side of the neck. The arms will go straight. Really, this is all about um, twisting side to side, this serpentine action in the body. So slowing it down today. And watching along the spine. Stretch up. Come down the midline. Start going to the side. That side of the neck is compressed into the other side. Then that goes straight down through the chest. And straighten the arms. And elbows in. Try to get them to touch your lower abdomen. Go across and then go right back. The same, same line. And then now the middle. And press the side of the neck. And the other side. And stretch on up. In between, stretch. And lengthen the sides of the body. So we're alternate, alternately compressing and lengthening. It's really wonderful for your spinal cord as well and all of the nerves that go to the internal organs. Compressing, compressing. So starting go across the throat, drop down to the middle. Arms will go straight with this one. And bend down into as low of a squat. Try to get your body compressed. across the throat and then standing up stretch and down again cross cross coming down through the middle elbows compressing the lowest abdomen and come to standing. Stretching side to side. And this, it's in itself, the, the swimming dragon can be, some people do this every day for three minutes, nine minutes, 27 minutes. It's considered to be a whole body exercise get all this compression and you get the leg strength the arm strength because there's a fair amount of isometrics and I stretch up I myself need there to be more variety I need to frolic like different animals and then throw in a mythical one too a really fierce mythical one I come in ground middle up we go and stretching up exhale arms down and prepare for five animal qigong harmonize chi number one tiger one as low of a horse stance as you can get and get your paw your claws into it lift up Pull it down. So the breath here is 
inhale, and then exhale now. Inhale, pull, exhale now. So there's two, two breathing cycles in one full up and down. Really make very strong fists and then they completely relax and open, good. Step feet together, get ready for tiger two. So the wave action coming up and you'll pounce straight forward. And then roll up shift weight over into a leg into, that'll be your right leg and forward. So it is, the legs going out yet it is not a step. Forward and roll up, start shifting the weight over into your left leg and now the heel is there, the butt goes back and you're stretching the back of that right leg, hamstring. Come up, go to the middle. And roll up, shift weight, it's an empty leg. So, empty leg, easy to step, it's not a step. So I was showing you what not to do there. It is a empty stance with a kickstand. Forward, rolling up, and all that weight is in trying to get into the standing leg. Because that front leg is empty, so you can kick with it. Middle, shift weight empty shift weight even stance roll up shift weight down roll up good preparing Harmonize in between. Get ready for deer one. I'm gonna turn around. You get to see the back of my cool kimono. Okay, where your weight shifts, that's the first place your arms go. I'm gonna shift weight, arms lift up. Shift up. Now step forward with the left foot front stance, then turn. So even though you're looking behind, you're still trying to keep more weight in the front leg, shift back, arms up and over, shift weight, arms go that way. Step forward and turn. Turn the chest back first, shift the weight back into a back stance, arms up and over, step a little side step to the right, good. Front stance, turn. Turn the body back, shift weight back, arms up and over, left foot steps over, arms follow over there, and Front stance, turn. Turn back, shift weight back, back stance. Keep on going. Step forward left, turn. Turn the chest back. Shift weight back, let your arms come up and over. Keep on going. Turn. Turn back, shift back, step foot back, and relax. That was one. So dear to it is really valuable to either just work the legs and watch what the arms are doing 
and add the arms when you're ready. So front stance, back stance. Okay, back stance, back to front stance. The back stance is gonna be your prance shift. Now left front stance, front stance, back stance, backs of the hands together, you have your deer horns, front stance, and shift, prance. Step, so see where my chest is, my chest is over the knee, and then shift back into back stance, when you go forward into front stance, head, chest is over the knee, shift it out. Step, reach, shift back, back stance, front stance, prance. Step, front stance, shift back, back stance, front stance again, and prance it out. Front stance, back stance, front stance, prance, good. Prance around a little bit. Okay, one and two, and now into the bear. So can you move your body around the arms? Minimal elbow bend coming around the abdomen. Three times one direction, three times the other direction. Preparing for bear two. Good. Harmonize in between. Preparing to stomp. So empty. We're gonna, I'm gonna turn around so you can see. Okay. Empty out. So then you take a big step with your left foot. Shift front stance, and you open to the right. Shift back back stance, and that's when we twist to the left. Front stance, open to the right. Back stance, open to the left. Next front stance is going to pick your foot up and big stomp with the right foot. So turn, 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 turn. Pick it up and stomp. Shift, shift, front stance, and stomp. Step, back stance, front stance, back stance. Another step, front stance, back stance, front stance, back stance. There you go. Oh, one more. Front stance, back stance, front stance, back stance. There it is. Harmonize in between, lifting up, and palms down. For the monkey, thumb is in. And turn the head, shoulders are up, around to your toes as much as possible. Lower everything down. So tensing, zipping up the front of the body, turn the head. Turn back, lower down, coming up, turn, turn back, lower down, coming up, and turn, and lower down, 
Line up. And turn. Or down. Strong inhale. Slow exhale as the arms lower. As if you found something disgusting and rolled in. Show everybody how gross you are. Mm -mm, she smells horrible. That's her, that's her big achievement of the day, to find the grossest, grossest thing in the woods. She succeeds most, most days, and now she's teaching little Trudy Sue. That's, that's the new little bit running around. Luckily, Trudy hasn't really gotten as disgusting. Okay, get in a monkey, too. Okay, so empty stance. Turn. Shifting, turning the torso to front stance. That's when you're going to grab the fruit and get up onto the toes. Now the fruit's in your left hand, so you're eating it here. Step back. Empty stance. Turn. Front stance. Grab. Shift back. Goes front to back to empty. Step back. Empty, turn, front stance, grab. And you're gonna grab the fruit and go back to empty stance. Step back, empty, grab the fruit. Step back, back forward, grab. Empty, yeah. So here I'm just doing the legs. No arms at all. Turn, empty, step back. So you're doing this diagonal zigzag. Harmonize in between. Moving into the crane. Lift up. So arms come down. So Legs gonna go back, arms back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Work to lift the leg higher and the chest moving parallel to the ground, possibly. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. That's heron one or crane one. Crane two, so lifting the knee up, half knee comes up to the hip, and then arms up, knee up, straighten the leg. And down, shift, knee lifts, arms lift halfway, and down, lift, maybe kick the leg halfway straight or all the way straight. Side to side. A 
and lifting up, kicking leg out or lifting knee higher is a good next step for that. Lift knee and then the next time try to lift the knee even higher. Arms down, leg down. Okay, harmonize chi one last time. Excellent. Lift chi up, pour chi down method. Now moving through the form on your own. Follow the cues. Remember the things are in threes. Everything is in three. And there's an optional meditation, standing meditation at the end. And there's an optional dance party after the standing meditation at the end. You'll see. Enjoy.